the time taken from delhi to bombay is 1 hour 20 minutes on passenger flight so the time taken by the stool to travel the bowel to reach the rectum or anus from where we pass the stool is 30 to 40 hours if the more the time is taken then the bowel takes in all the water from the stool and the stool becomes hard like that of goat pellets or our hazelnuts on the other hand if the time taken is less if the stool moves very fast like a fast moving car then the bowel can only absorb small amount of water which causes a watery stool so if the transit varies then some part will be hard and sometimes it will be slow if there is no such order as fast and slow then sometimes the stool will be hard and the stool will be soft now it is very important to understand this one to understand bristol stool classification as we have discussed type 1 and type 2 these are caused due to slow transit that is that means lot of time is taken by the stool to move down so this is seen in ips constipation whereas if the movement of the stool is very fast then absorption of water does not take place from the stool then the stool will have lot of water the stool will be broken down or sometimes it is full of fluid then it is ibs diarrhea type so we have ibs constipation type or ibs diarrhea predominant type sometimes 50 percent of the days a person can have constipation and 50 percent of the days the person can have diarrhea like 15 days in a month constipation and 15 days in a month diarrhea in some other people there is no such pattern and they can have some 30 days of constipation 70 days of diarrhea or like uh, one week of constipation three weeks of diarrhea or three weeks of constipation one week of diarrhea like that that is ibd unclassified so basically the gut brain axis the stress which is happening inside the brain like depression anxiety which causes change in the intestinal barrier movement of the intestine and the microorganisms in the intestine thereby we have different types of irritable bowel syndrome